back to the question with the coming official dollar devaluation, it would seem logical that large and small banks would need to have sufficient quantities of the new dollars in storage prior to the event. Is it possible that this type of info could be leaked by insiders as we get, as we get closer to it? Well, that's a good example of what I'm talking about. We broke that story two weeks ago, and banks are being told, and I get this right from people who are at the top of the banking profession, not with major banks, but with top middle-sized banks, and they go to the Fed meetings, and they tell me what goes on. And they told me that the Fed told the banks to clear, safe, secure storage because we're getting ready to print new currency. And it's not an Amero, it's a dollar, but probably a different one from what you have already. So to answer your question, it's underway. And it may not be in the printing stage yet, but the plans are there because the Fed is expecting, as is the Treasury, that the U.S. dollar is not going to be the reserve currency of the world in about a year and a half, maybe less. And uh, so they're going to go to a new currency because they're going to officially devalue. The Fed thinks that, and so don't I. Their, their time frame is a year at the end of next year. Mine is a little bit further on, I figured, 18 months. But I'm not going to quibble. And a lot of people have argued with me on that. And I may change my mind if I'm given different information. But for the time being, that's what's going to go down. And that's the kind of information that we have in the international forecaster.